What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. A lot of news stories, so let's get into it. First story of the day is about the blue, coral blue to be exact, Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. It looks like it will go on sale at Best Buy exclusively tomorrow. So if you are looking to get the coral blue Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, it's going to be available for Verizon, AT&T, Sprint and Unlocked. Looks like the Unlocked version was only previously available in black. Now it's also going to be available in blue and then all those other carriers will have it as well. T-Mobile I don't think is getting it because it looks like it's going to be a Best Buy exclusive coral blue tomorrow at Best Buy. Next up, there is a new iPhone killer on the block, and it is the KFC phone made by Huawei. KFC, you're like, I know what that is. Kentucky Fried Chicken, yes, they are coming out with their own phone. It's a 30 year anniversary edition phone, uh, celebrating their 30 years of uh, being in China and Huawei's making its own phone. The specs on the phone aren't anything to write home about. Snapdragon 430, three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of expandable storage, a fingerprint sensor, and 3,020 milliamp battery. Colonel Sanders also will be embossed on the back of the phone. The cost will be $162, and it'll also faintly smell of fried chicken, biscuits, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and corn. Speaking of the iPhone, there's a rumor coming out of the Apple camp about some delayed software issues with their wireless charging and their 3D sensing. Now the 3D sensing is gonna be, you hold the phone up to your face, it unlocks the phone because it doesn't look like they're gonna have a fingerprint sensor on this year's phone because they couldn't get it under the glass. And then the wireless charging, just like any other Android phone that already has it. it, looks like Apple again is having some software issues with both of these and it might delay the release of the iPhone 8 to the point that it might fall out a month, two, maybe even more. And our last story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 8. It looks like the investor over in South Korea, which is a publication, is stating that the Galaxy Note 8 will be unveiled to the public on August 23rd. Now, this is kind of what we've been hearing uh, for the last few months, I think August 20th at one point is what we were hearing. So if this does ring true, August 23rd is about a month and a couple of weeks away from you being able to see this phone and know more about it, everything about it, the release date, the price, official specs. We pretty much know a lot about this phone already, but uh, this that, that point would be official. The other thing would you, you'd be wondering is when would pre-orders happen? When would the release happen? Well, it looks like August 23rd is a Wednesday. So pre-orders would most likely be, if I had to guess, August 25th, August 26th, and then the phone would most likely ship July 31st, September 1st, maybe even September 8th, whatever that Friday is, either the first or second week of September, if I had to guess. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you would like to support the show, it is a wonderful way to show your support. The link is down below. My question of the day is, what is the thing you're most excited about for the Galaxy Note 8? Maybe it's the S Pen, maybe it's the screen. Let me know in the comments down below what it is for you. For me, it's to really just test out that six gigabytes of RAM, just really see if it makes a difference. If you didn't see today's video, make sure you check it out. A $13 TV antenna that works badass. I picked up 28 HD channels. Again, 13 bucks. If you wanna pick that up, that is my deal of the day. See you down the road. Peace.